all right ladies and gentlemen this is day 10 but technically day three irl time of chernobylite playthrough i uh, we are just about i say six hours into the game um there's these conspiracies and information that you need to grab uh we are on the second one for the web of lies we have two out of six clues and two out of three facts so far um last night we expanded the base a good amount uh so far we've added some materials and things like that storage um we started building more benches also got some of these chernobylite burners finally um some weapons i haven't built any of these yet this one seems pretty cool too the only thing is right now we're kind of low on radiation security so let me actually i don't know if i checked last night yeah we're missing mushrooms need more mushrooms to be able to make a uh, better one of these going forward i'm gonna try to keep that covered like see what i'm gonna make and what i get out of it uh before i i start just crafting uh Igor, hey, something new uh, got a second? we'll see just talk to my uh business partner <laughs> yeah, on what's the radio. going on what is it thoughts and tales my dear. Yeah, he's knee deep in the shit don't some mutated creatures and you claim to be expected Absolutely. if you keep taking from them and giving them to yourself huh is that see uh, that kind of business one sec let's not get bogged down with the details just check if he's okay would you He's hiding somewhere near the Pripyat port. Pripyat. Um, so far, I mean, there's really not too this? many, like, monsters. It can't be real. No. No. Whoa. No. Oh, God. Our health just went all the way down. Uh, I wonder if this is going to change it. it's not the end. I won't let it end like this. Go. Die. Fade. Portal, help, die, Igor. A lot of the combat has been mainly fighting uh, soldiers and things like that. Yeah, so far there are some like, I don't know if they're technically hallucinations or if they're actual monsters. Like there are some every once in a while out there, but don't be it. Afraid to die, death is a natural part of progress and can let you get out of a situation with no way out. But lots of random items so you won't what is always time, benefit Igor? from it. Whoa. Would you compare this to Metro? I would say it's um I would say close to Metro and actually Fallout. Is it a straight line? Um, An arrow fired at the dawn of creation, moving steadily towards infinity? It definitely the has like cannot be altered. A lot of the uh or is it something much more metro a fourth vibe to dimension it? that can change slowing down something that can oh. take the form of cosmic strings infinite full of mass and energy but then it has like the and rpgs and the base building forever. of a fallout game and also like crafting and things like that especially fallout 4. you arrived at your base wounded and scarred but you didn't know the correct password for olivier Go ahead, Igor. Change the past. There's Here's actually. Where I can see them. Whoa. What's the password? Whoa, what? Current choice? Nostalgia. We don't have time for games, Olivier. Can't you tell it's me? Whoa. You picked the password. Let's just stick to the rules, shall we? Come on in. That just oh, I was wondering. So we've and been collecting the stuff Chernobylite throughout a lot of the game. So now I'm wondering what we are. Or for a while, I was wondering how you actually use it. But now it sounds like we can change the past. Would it be like past. going back in time, or would it create an alternate universe? This is your chance to rethink the decisions you've made. A right, chance to reshape the fabric of space-time reality. A chance to alter your timeline. We can be together, Igor. 
but you have to learn the truth. That's the other if thing you is you get environments like to this find me. where it looks pretty sick. Every crystal represents a memory you can alter. As the world was changing, your companions got to witness every choice you were making, develop new opinions about your actions, changing your companion's stance towards you uh, that you're not aware of are represented by yellow crystals. Expect them to find out where you stand with your buddies. Sashko asked you to destroy the Moscow Eye or make it work for you. Your choice was to make use of the PDA upgrade. Change memory. Change the past, Igor. See where it leads you. What took you so long? Did the tiny dancer get your attention? <laughs> Old man said it would. He's got to test you before he decides yeah, he likes I you. Yeah, I actually saw this game a, a good amount of times that, uh... But at least he pays well. Are you going to explain to me what... Captain Spastic said you'd recognize a big fucking radar assembly. For like assembly three years. It means something to you? Then he mumbled something about the Rat King and the end of the world, but I don't think he was serious about that part. I came here to talk to the old man, not his errand boy. The one really cool thing is, back. like... The fuck you say? You're a lucky son of a bitch. I'd mess you up. Now shut your fucking face and pay attention when you're well, better I'm trying to pay You've attention to, to make. It's easy. You can, or you can use it. destroy it or use the beat PDA. Um, so... The really cool thing is when I originally saw this game, I thought it was just going to be like a survival game and like a little bit of story and things like that. But no, they went full in like story RPG choices. Definitely. There's still the survival aspect of it. There's crafting. There's like otherworldly stuff. And who uh, the hell are you supposed to be? I wasn't I'm expecting it to be like That's that at all. Yeah. That's all you need to know, friendo. Last piece of advice. This guy is crazy loco, sure. But there's always some kind of reason behind what he's doing. Like, there's relationship statuses between people. Golden opportunity. There's other landmarks we can blow up later if you need to let off some steam. <laughs> Loading or clipping stuff? Not really, no. Like, in the game? So, our current choice is that, but what happens if we do this? Inventory, three. Do I have to go back and change it again if I don't do it? No, I mean, like, it, it loads in fine, so, like... So does this mean we can get the upgrades? In the it's very loud. Ah, um, I'll explain in a second. So there's open world. It is open world, but there's sections. So like you have your base, and like when you're chilling inside your base, like. That's it. You kind of, there is like an outside door area that you can go to. Um, like with some memories have updated with the current progress. You can relive them current form. Okay, cool. Oh, and it shows you a little like diagram. Um, so after you, you like you're good on your base, you're done your crafting and stuff. You go up to this mission board. And it shows you all of the areas. There's like five or six, I think. And it said, like one will say ammo drop, one will say um, food supplies. Then if you have a main mission, you'll see it. And then these companions, right now we have three, these three guys, you can send them out to do missions. So like Oliver, like I can send him out to do uh, like a food supply, this guy, I can send out to do ammo supply and then this guy I can send him out to do like another ammo supply or just get uh, random crafting supplies. And then you select yourself and you say you're going to go to this area. So then you teleport there essentially and then that area is like its own open world in a way. Um, so it's not like a 
one ginormous open world but when you go to each district they it, you have free reign you can go around collecting materials Terracon asked you to burn all of his notes or you did as just he asked, do the main mission but you gave up the chance or to find do some more side information stuff. about me to delete this event from new reality dude i'm afraid like i'm messing with time Sashko here asked you to destroy the moscow eye or make it work for you your choice was to raise the structure to the ground i'm like nervous i still have this thing though so i guess i can still use it break it down to smaller section maps exactly think of it like tarkov literally um like same style you have except Terracon it's not asked like you to burn all of his notes you did as he asked but you gave up the chance to find more information so i can relive this memory or i can forget it i don't know the repercussions Let's move of the pieces changing on the stuff. cosmic chessboard igor <laughs> you will make time once you see the truth but never mind that for now you have questions ask I'm looking for my fiance. A long time, isn't it? I'm not sure. But she constantly haunts your dreams. Oh, I suspected as much. See here, I have gathered many documents, reams of them. Quiet, Mousy. They're here. Oh, you never expected the second test to come so fast, eh? This hurry, Mousy. If anyone discovers these documents, burn it. Burn it. We cannot take any. So, do I have to change this? What happens? Blue discovered. We leveled up. So when you level up, you use your your leveling things to. Um, Tarakan asked you to burn all of his notes. And activity raised. Okay. Sashko asked you to destroy the I'm so, I'm like so curious what happens if you delete it from your reality <laughs> I'm These like events nervous. have not happened yet as the future is not predetermined whoa that's kind of cool there's more events that haven't happened yet holy crap there's a lot of events that haven't happened yet <laughs> I don't think we have While any more searching Chernobyl Tarakon's light. hideout, you disarmed his traps, leaving the place vulnerable to the end. You considered rearming the traps. Oliver su supports this decision. Wait, so now that I did that, are they not happy with me? Ah, uh, Sashko was? I think he was good with me. But now he's not. Knew way too much about you and the relation with even so you let him go. Oliver was against it. Where's the one? That's what I want to do. I want to search that guy again. If I can. I think it might be down there. Huh. So you Mikhail can change wanted the outcomes. You to help him wipe out the NAR servers. You did as he asked, but missed an opportunity to find new information about me. This has been a big change since I, uh, they, they did not show this at all, uh, for the few hours I've been playing. Mikhail wanted you to help so him this wipe out the NAR servers. You did as he asked, but missed an opportunity to find new information about me. So you can change ahead, your Igor. memory. Shit. Is that he changing? Just himself up? <laughs> what do you think is it? Just get there, don't. I wish you could. I remember this. Okay, so we can't spend any. So this wipes this out. So now there's a reason to actually get it's Chernobyl done. Light. I hope it hurts. 
because then you can actually use it to change your memory. I don't know if it's changing. It's changing your memory, but not you changing. You saved Mikhail from poisonous gas. The... When you asked him, he gladly joined your team. Oh, uh, you can change it and have him not join, I guess. Oh, so I guess if you do something that you don't like, if somebody doesn't join, you can come back here you and be saved like, Mikhail from poison. Like, hey, you want to join me? So if you lose somebody, you can technically go back and actually regain them from what it sounds like. You passed Sashko's test by jumping from the window. He was impressed and you had the chance to recruit. Okay, so like if we didn't pass his test, here we go. This one you I kind of want to change. You reached but someone else got there first. Oliver did not agree with this decision. I don't think we have enough Chernobylite to change the anything. Igor. Hey, don't hurt me. I'm, I'm unarmed. Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I, I'm no traitor. You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. All right, all right. I, I, but those knuckleheads got confused. And what? One thing led to obvious interest. Yeah, but not near. You're new to the. How did you know? I need to go who's there. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, but I who I am? We're both. Yeah. So you let him go, but I could stop him. Just another. Yeah. Okay. Did that bring him down? Okay, good. Whew. No related decisions. Cool. That's a Sashko memory, cause it, but it hasn't happened yet. Huh. Alright, well, we're out of Chernobylite, so... I'm curious what's going to happen now. If I go to sleep, is all, all of your timeline memories will be rewritten according to the current progress and the crystal changes you have made. Are you sure you are ready to wake up in the new reality? Oh, God. Um... So... What did it say about the... I don't remember what it said about the... I'm just nervous because now I blew up the... The thing. But I found out more clues. And we didn't burn the documents, so now NAR is going to be higher. Sure. Let's find out. I wonder if my scanner still works. Okay. So I wonder if that'll happen again at some point and then let's see. Everybody's neutral. Save here. All right, Igor, what's next? I guess they don't really care. Igor, hey, uh, got a second? Just talk to my uh, business partner on the radio. What is it? Yeah, he's knee deep in the shit. NAR is after him. But that's to be expected if you keep taking from them and giving unto yourself, huh? I see. That kind of business. Let's not get bogged down with the details. Just check if he's okay, would you? He's hiding somewhere near the Pripyat port. Huh. So now that we changed it, I wonder, because now the NAR are, are on high alert, so that's probably why we got that mission for the one he's trying to give us right now. And it didn't technically negatively impact it. So, all right. So I'm going to assign myself to Pripyat port. We got a medicine drop. Um, let's do Sashko. Sashko. Then food drop. I feel like we're really low on food. So, Mikael. And. Which one is he better off with? 
Why is Oliver's... All of Oliver's stuff is like... Uh... 60 or 70... 66%. Okay, I'm actually gonna move this then. Because Sashko has an 80% on this one. And Oliver has an 80% on that. Medicine drop, food. All right, let's do it. So this here is the uh, traditional maps. Mikhail claims that everything is just business, but I know you can tell he's holding back the whole truth, can't you? There's a deep darkness within him caused by loss and grief. Don't let it suck you in. Cool. So now we, we actually have the, um, the system. There's a, a crafting station where you can actually make more Chernobylite. So if we get a good amount of those before the next time we have a, uh, event like that, then we should be pretty good. I think this still lets me keep this from what it seems like. So we have it. Huh. Wait, what does it say? All right, so and here's the map for this area. We got two points of interest, and then we have this guy that we need to meet up with. Well, there's a monster. Not every day you see one of them. Oh God, reload. <laughs> Got it. I think they drop Chernobylite too sometimes. Sweet. We need to make sure we grab as many mushrooms and things like that this time around. second chat okay chemicals shoot I hear somebody over there too There's also, Jordan, I don't know if you're still here, but there's also a, uh, so not only do you have a health bar, but you have a psych bar. Uh, the more people that you kill, the more your psych goes down. But if you take them out slowly or choke them out, since you didn't kill them, um, it goes down less. God, the radiation this on we got hit why are we getting hit so hard with it what the heck uh do you know if you are pretty far into the game i'm about six hours into the game um where is this thing it, and it really is pretty polished. Like, if you look at the reviews, like, the, I do feel like the reviews do a pretty good, um, uh, explanation of the game and everything. So I, personally, if you like this style of game, it looks cool and all of that. I, I do recommend it so far. 
um there's there are like i'm not the biggest fan of like jump scares and things like that creepy things but like there is a little bit not a whole ton like you get a lot of dolls and like creepy laughter <laughs> and things like that every once in a while and there are some moments that can be a little bit like whew. but otherwise it, it's pretty sick I, so i don't know what what keeps hitting me it's like i know i have the filters i have all the filters right here i know there's a crack in this but it usually have you ever played the stalker game uh, i kind of like this i believe they're releasing the new fort uh, no so i actually never played them that's those are games that i always wanted to um and i know they uh the next one actually is going to be on uh unreal engine 5 which it, it looks sick um i have them and maybe one day i'll play them but i just never really got around to them trying to find something to watch and i stumbled upon this game and i got a slight over you because i can't seem to find one sure <laughs> i'll do my best uh so essentially you're just a guy uh and his two friends uh in chernobyl you're looking for your wife um she went missing and one second I'm, gonna, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without alerting the other guy yeah also welcome uh so you're looking for your wife you used to be a scientist all of that um you're just out here but in, in the meantime there's also these nar soldiers where are, they're pretty much everywhere um occupying the area all that good stuff this is probably a horrible idea right now um i could go in guns blazing or i can keep doing this the way i'm doing it there's also a very big uh amount of oh god there's a stuff called chernobylite that essentially opens up like portals and other weird supernatural things um so like right here this is called the portal generator you literally open up a portal and teleport back to your refugee um to compare it it's kind of like take a fallout game and metro game there is a survival aspect of it you have your health bar and your psych so right here my health is a little bit lower so i'm actually gonna Take some healing um it's also a lot of rpg choices so you can't there are relationship statuses between your companions there's people out in the open that you can recruit you can or you can leave them without you they don't follow you on missions like as you select missions but you can send them out to do their own in a way um and they get materials and things like that as oh shit <laughs> as you're doing yours um there's a whole base building system to it as well uh which is pretty cool so yeah it's 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 really been a fun time and for the price um this is one of those games where i would say for the price that it's at i do think that it is you are getting a good value um there's also free play to it, which I think is just going out into the world and just trying to survive without any story element elements to it. So, um, so no, I haven't, but I know if you play on harder difficulties, um, I'm not playing on like the hardest difficulty or anything like that. So I think I'm actually playing on easy. Oh, shit. I don't like stuff like that. <laughs> that actually wasn't horrible, but dear God. Um. <sighs> Alright, to be honest, that has been the first time where there's been an actual full-on, like, 
jump scare, jump scare. Um, I mean, it really wasn't too bad because I'm talking to you guys, but if I was by myself right now, oh my god. Seven days to die, X Fallout with RPG elements. Uh, I had never played fall, um, Seven Days to Die. Uh, so I can't fully compare it. But I, if you're talking about like just the base building in general, then yeah, it's possible. Oh, shit. Who's there? Don't shoot. Relax. Lots of Mikhail voice acting. And the Are voice acting is actually pretty associate? good, too. His what? Ah, oh, yes. Sure. Sure thing. I've been shot. I need help. Mikhail, I found your friend. NAR did a number on him. It doesn't look good. Fuck! Well, help the man! I need him! He's got connections! Besides, he doesn't deserve to die like that! Sounds like, like my kind dog. of game I'll stick around. Sounds good, man. Uh, yeah, we can go on first date. Let kid. me patch you up. Thank you. I don't have anything on me. I had to drop everything when I ran. But I've got some yep. intel you Status have. with Mikhail got good. I'm Ask looking about for Tatiana. Someone. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. So Tatiana she, uh, is his she wife. She's a violin, right? Sibelius. Yes. My God, that's her favorite composer. You... You know her? I can still hear the music. Beautiful. Inspired. Sibelius is not for everyone. Weeks ago. I started having the dreams. Only the music at first. Then I saw her. She didn't say anything, but I understood. She communicated with me through the music. My wife Katya used to play the violin, you see. That was our connection. What did she communicate? Oh, uh, I wrote it down someplace, but it's still in my hideout. Probably swarming with NAR goons. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to check your hideout. This is very important to me. You'll be fine. I promise. Nice. A lot of times, too, when you go to a new area, um, you'll have one objective, but then they'll make you go to another area, too. Oh, there's actually... Um, so I recently made this item. The Burn Chernobylite. So now, I don't know. Oh, more Chernobylite. Cool. We actually use this, this scanner tool here. As you can see, all those highlights there, those are materials and things like that. Um, so finding materials, not horrible. Um, you can also select it to go to certain things if you wanted to oh wow this is the first time i ran into one of these this lets you like break down items and you get materials back okay i see <laughs> wall hacks pretty much material wall hacks you can change it around too so like you can change it to highlight food or other things like that um, I usually leave it on the default because it's pretty easy, but yeah. Uh, each area, usually when you go to them, like these question marks, those are like points of interest. So like there we see more materials inside there. Um... The one thing I was telling, so thoughts and tales earlier. He's just stole that man's own. Hey, I gave him a. Uh, oh God. I haven't seen this yet. Really storming out here. The hell. Um. I gave that dude a. med kit so you should be thankful without it he could be bleeding out i don't think we can get inside this way 
Need to go up though. This game fully released yet? Yes. Uh, it is currently in 1.0, I believe. This game did come out in early access a while ago. Um, I was saying earlier, I've actually seen this game at PAX East like two, two or three times, uh, but it is in 1.0 at the full game. It's getting patches and updates, possibly DLC at some point, I think. But uh, the full story, campaign, all that is out. Played this a long time ago. Yeah, and from my understanding, Russian. You know this expression, Igor? You are like a foolish child wandering in the dark. You think you're getting closer, but the dark water is rushing in. Soon it will be over your head. You should have stayed away. You cannot ruin everything now. I won't allow it. So, want to show me what you're made of? Now run. <laughs> I will hurt you if I have to. I'm giving you a 10 second head start. Oh God. We haven't seen that guy since the beginning of the game. So, uh, run. Yo, uh, um, you might know me. Thank you for the follow there. I appreciate this that. This is not going to end. Oh God, I don't like this. I don't like being chased. Uh, I will Jordan I saw your thing I don't think we he, uh, we can kill him just yet at least he is like one of the more tougher enemies why He's did like, you have to come back oh, oh sh wait can we wait just show the health bar Run or kill him? This is stop not him from spawning. I don't know. Well, I might be able to do that then. I do have a fully kitted out uh thing. AK. People exposed to Chernobylite are able to communicate with each other. That's why people can see Tachana. That's why I can see her too. Come on out. Oh, wait. Full modded hideout. Nice. All right, I think we can go back. We got the clue that we needed. Um, uh, you have enough ammo to kill him? I mean, I have like 80 rounds in that gun and then i have like 40 or, or 50 in uh my revolver so how is he wounded but he's gonna make it oh, that's a relief <laughs> that's my way of different seeing whether i like stream or not no, i, I completely your understand man, that Fuck you, Mr. also thank Righteous. you again thank you for the follow Maybe this I is some it. kind of romantic adventure for you but some people have to make a living here I think at first, that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> um, I think at first the voice acting was a little weird, but I did get used to it pretty early on. Um, so I, I have a more positive opinion on it now than a, like when I originally started playing, um, and started watching it. So entertaining watch keep it up thank you thank you i appreciate that happy uh, uh thank you guys for being here too as well russian sounds right yeah i can see um i know traditionally the game is technically in russian uh and there's english subtitles All right, so some of this stuff we're gonna move around. Um, Jordan, what did you say? I saw you said some or thoughts and tales. Uh, what could you do to make the game better? Any small changes you would change? Um, 
so far so i feel like starting out a little bit i was kind of like i wasn't fully invested yet like i mean i guess you could say that for a lot of games technically but it's it's definitely picking up more so i feel like it, if you like the survival aspect and like the uh everything else to it like the crafting and and the companion system i think it's cool but you, you kind of just get thrown into it and like that's cool but like it was kind of confusing at first too at the same time um trying to figure out things but all that does come with time at it, like as well so nice so now we've got better radiation security never played uh seven days to die and if your description is not a lie which i hopefully it is not <laughs> yeah it's probably not well i would say it is not then you seem like you enjoy it probably i i'm pretty sure i have it i just don't know if i ever played it but gas mask is only one slot now this thing shabby gas mask i need to make like a new one or something because like i feel like mine's not working apparently so i i really don't know too much before i started playing other than like i knew about the survival aspects but from my knowledge they did change a, a substantial amount of things um since early access okay so i want to make this because it gives you a gas mask um but to do that we need to bring the comfort level of the base up so let's and do, do some comfort things We can literally build a Chernobylite throne that gives us 60. Huh. Why does it actually cost so little to? Did I build the Chernobylite throne right here? Is there anything else that costs less to make? I want something that gives us a lot. Like I know the, uh, the 60. The lights give you 40, but they take power. Same thing with these. Whoa. Memory, memory catalyst. Okay, so if we build this, it takes a lot of stuff, but it adds a lot of comfort. Can we build it? Let's build a power then. Uh, or power supply gives us 250 500 800 what well, we should be good on power for a while if we put these down somewhere uh let's do this one Okay, good on power for quite a bit. I don't know if we'll still have enough to make this thing. Oh, we do, cool. All right, let's pop it down right there. Now, we can go back to this. And where was the, I think it was the earlier ones right here. Yeah, let's see if I can put this up here, actually. Right about... There. 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 Okay. Fires gas mask to operate. Build one. So, if we look at our inventory... Shabby gas mask and gas mask. Does it matter? Like, what's the difference? I know the one has like a 
thing in it. I was going to swap those out. Put this away. Uh, really do have a lot more ammo than we actually need. Shotgun shells. I don't, I'm currently not using a shotgun, so that's fine. Um, though I could swap out my this thing for a shotgun. What's the difference in damage? Damage is a lot higher. But I think I'm okay because I mainly get headshots anyways with with my AK. So we're okay on that. Um trying to think that's like crooked. The guy just made it worse. Uh, actually, not too bad. Okay, so now. Dude, I don't have any more mushrooms. We do have a little mushroom station. But this clear psych here. I feel like I need more healing stuff now. Check this. First aid kit. Uh, yeah, we need mushrooms. Mushrooms are always the one that we need most of. Everything else we're fine on. Literally just mushrooms. Can I make one of these? No, you need more mushrooms. That vegetable garden. Okay. Um, let's chat with each one of these guys before we end the day. Sometimes sir, they have some new morning, stuff. Sir. Stop calling me sir. What do you want, Mikhail? I'm just fucking teasing you, man. Because I'm bored. You used to live in England, didn't you? Eating your full English breakfast, drinking Darjeeling tea, scooting around in your Aston Martin, sipping martinis, mingling with high society. A regular James fucking Bond. I eat porridge for breakfast, for Christ's sake. Relax, I'm kidding. I did a piece of business with some Brits once. Good blokes. They drank Stolich Night with Red Bull. <laughs> Loopy fuckers. Why are you wasting my time, Mikhail? I knew a guy once. When I used to do business in Moscow, this guy wasn't a Brit, he was Scottish. I think his name was Daniel. He was absolutely fascinated by the Moscow sewers. Daniel was looking for a guide, so I took him on a tour of the underground, told him some really top drawer fucking tales about nuclear bunkers under the Moskva River where Putin will hide when the zombie apocalypse comes, about the lizard people from Zeta Reticuli controlling the amount of sugar in your Starbucks coffee. He was a tad skeptical, though. Reminds me of you, and that worries me. Why? You've spent too much time in the rotten capitalistic West, comrade. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, I hope our humble way of life isn't too much of a shock for you. Oh, trust me. I'll always be Ukrainian in my heart. Great. I'll drink to that. Yeah, as soon as I find something better to drink, that is. Okay. <laughs> your base is quite comfortable and it pleases your companion good i'm glad i think we're good on this then uh we have two skill points does it tell you what these require so we could do the revolver upgrades from him not too really worried about those some of these are okay. Actually, you do receive 30% more of every picked resource. While you gather plants and mushrooms, you have 10% chance of finding food. 20% chance of finding food. Additional rations. I need to find these. 
I mean, this will take longer to uh, to notice Eagle Order. Everything you built is 10% cheaper. Build. Everything built and crafted in the refugee is 10% cheaper. Environmental analyzer will highlight enemies. That is what I need. I've been looking for this for a while. I didn't know that somebody like that holds on to it. Okay. And these are all like inventory slots, assault rifle damage. Cool. <laughs> More the wall hacks. Pretty much. All right, if I can train and get more survival stuff. Uh, I don't really care about the survival instinct. I want the perfect gathering, so I'm going to hold off. Actually, I um, let's go over to you uh, have a minute. Yeah, what's up? For man? you, partner? Of course. I can't stop thinking about what happened to Anton. I know. I'm really sorry, Olivier. He was one of the good guys, you know. Olivier? And my friend. I can't help but wonder. If we could have done something differently to save him? You know what I'm talking about, right? Only too well, Olivier. Only too well. All right. And he has nothing to say. <laughs> Everyone sounds so rough. And then there's your character. Yeah, he's, he's interesting. You have found enough clues on the board to run in simulation in the past event. Would you rather go to sleep or find out the truth? Well, I didn't know we had enough clues. So, wait, what? Oh, we were looking at the wrong one. That's why. On the simulation. All right. Yes, comrade. We think that this subject could be the key. Patient Zero. Yes. She was pregnant. Only a couple of weeks. Yes, we were surprised too. No, she won't tell us who the father is. Based on the intel that our friends in the KTV provided us with, we've got two possible candidates. Unfortunately, one of them is already dead. What? These are the areas where this game becomes essentially a walking simulator, and I am totally all right with that. Absolutely, comrade. We've taken every precaution to make sure that Amelieva and her child are safe and sound. Whoa. We're very curious, too. We could be on the brink of something big here. Yes, I will keep you posted. Dear God, Tanya? She... she was with child? Our child? And she was this patient zero. They were using her for their experiments from the start. Prison cell, 11 June, 1990, evening. My little bird, my little sweetheart. Soon you will see the blue sky, the meadows, you will hear the sound of the ocean, smell the pine trees, feel the sunlight on your face. You're a very special boy. You have a bright future ahead of you. I want you to go far, far away from here and be happy. Be happy. I'm not going to mess with that. Don't be afraid. 
I will always be close <laughs> I just to like you. the redeems. Now I want to hoard up classic ones so I can hear this demon chip one voice. Find me there. <laughs> it's time. We have to hurry. I love you, my sweetheart. Sometimes I forget that those are Your in there. Your mommy loves you very, very much. Now go. That's when they were. was kept prisoner here. And a child. They're great. Did someone take it away from her. <laughs> a little free one <laughs> a deeper version of my voice march 23rd 1991 science division yes this is regrettable my men are looking into it regrettable it's a fucking disaster how could you let this happen if someone finds out Mind your tone, comrade. I was fighting in Afghanistan when you were still pissing in your underwear. Now the boy suffered from acute autism. Couldn't even speak. My bet is he's probably lying in a ditch somewhere. However, he couldn't have escaped on his own. Someone helped him. Are you saying it was an inside job? It's too soon for definite conclusions, but yes, I would say so. So, it must be a spy, a CIA asset. Well, of course, it must be. You KG people see spies everywhere. That probably explains why your arrest records are so high. Saddam is on the brink of invading Kuwait. I'm sure the CIA has more pressing problems than your research. No, this is not the CIA. This is someone closer to home. Don't worry. I intend to find out who. Look, General, I'm sorry I spoke out of turn before. I really do appreciate your work. You I don't are know if vital you can keep going. to our efforts. The Duga project and our research, it could be bigger than nuclear weapons, bigger than even the space wars. That image? Um, I did not see it. Or did you mean the, the person standing there? A lot is at stake here. Even the future of the motherland. I already spoke with some of the party members and... Let me be frank with you, comrade. The, the person Soviet standing Union is there? falling apart at the seams. And I nah, don't think that's, anything can that's prevent that's that from happening. the one talking. I'm not a scientist. That's the scientist. I've seen enough to know that this Chernobylite, on the other hand, could be the key to our future. We all have to do whatever's necessary to prepare for it. So, Tanya had a boy, and he escaped. Was it mine? God, if it was, I can't. Ah, oh, compose yourself, Igor. Looks like the KGB was trying to expedite the Chernobylite experiments. Maybe they were even hoping that the findings would prolong the life of the Soviet Union. Clearly, they didn't succeed. And now we load back to the base. Day 11, the refugee. All right, sounds good. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Jordan. I appreciate it, man. I hope you got a good, uh, good, uh, opinion and thought on the game if you do want to get it. Hello, Professor Kimanuk, Igor, are you there? Answer if you can hear me, please. Hello. Yes. Who's this? The name is Oga. I live in the village in Red Forest. I've heard about you. I think we can help each other. <laughs> I hear that a lot lately. I'm afraid you need to be more specific. Your distrust is understandable under the circumstances, but we have the same goal. Drive NER out of the zone. Well, I didn't come here to conduct a guerrilla war on corporate mercenaries. Yes, I know. 
You're looking for someone. So am I. Please come to our village in Red Forest so we can talk in person. Be extra careful on the way here, okay? The monsters, they mostly come out at night. Mostly. Oh, great. If there's a village, does that mean you're one of the summer shells? The people who returned to their homes after the disaster? Some of the older ones never left. I know it's hard yeah, to what's going on, living legend? And there are newcomers like me. We came to the zone for many different reasons, but now we're united by one common goal. To get rid of NAR. I see. Fascinating. Please come to the village. This isn't just about me. You'd be doing the right thing as well. I'll make sure to stop by if I get the chance. Yeah, I haven't played Warframe. Um, is this a horror game? It has some horror aspects to it, but it's not like super scary. There are some like spooky moments, but it's not like a like you're running from the enemy the entire time. Yeah, if it was a full on horror game, I would not be playing it, to be honest. As much a, as cool as like the setting is, <laughs> I would not be playing it. I'm not much of a horror game person. Uh, let's make sure that we get food still. So. Do that. The highest one that Oliver will do is the supply drop. Food stash. Boom. Let's do it. Um, but this I haven't, woman, I haven't Olga? played. She seems to be running the show. In a very long time. Must be tough as nails. And all these ammo shields? They say it takes a village to raise a child. But I do but think the game is cool. How many does it take to find a lost love? It's just very hard. The only reason I I haven't played Warframe in a while is because I, I found a frame that I actually liked, and I wanted to continue playing as it. But all the missions after are like level thirty missions or like 35 and max level is 30 so you have to get the cards and everything and it was just like that's so much grind to get the stuff so i kind of just uh stopped i honestly forget um i i do have a good amount of the the frames and stuff too which is which is actually kind of funny um like i have a, a good amount of them Prime ones too. I would like to go back someday and, and play like the story quests and things like that because I, I think those are pretty cool. It's just having to do the uh, the missions and stuff. I think that game is a lot of fun too with the combat. Playing horror games is a heck of a lot more scary than watching them, in my opinion. Watching horror game movies, that is. I can't... Yeah. Yeah, same. Well, I don't know. I, I'm kind of the same way with both. With horror games and horror movies. Like, I, I just... I think the plots of horror movies... Uh, and games are really cool. But... I, I hate jump scares. That is the only thing. The only thing that I hate is jump scares. If a game is like spooky and stuff and like creepy, I'm cool with it. But the second it goes into like jump scares territory, I'm not the biggest fan. Which hopefully this doesn't do. Oh, wait, it looks like there's an, an enemy over here. All right, I'm just going to run for it because I can't really see otherwise.
to be good now. You see two guys right there. Oh wait, this is their base, right? We don't want to shoot I anybody. I don't know you. What do you want? I'm Igor. Olga sent for me. Olga, some Igor jackass here to see you. You know this guy, or should I shoot him in the throat? It's fine. Open the gate, Marco. Open the gate, Marco. Who has your gold, Marco? Thank you. Hola. Professor Kimanuk, I presume. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. We've got a lot of work to do, you and I. I'm here. What did you want to talk about? A few days ago, someone took our supplies. My husband, Kostia, went after the thieves. Now he's gone too. In the meantime, some NAR henchmen showed up claiming they have a prisoner they want to trade for something of value. And you think it's your Kostya? The description matches. I'd make the trade in a heartbeat, but as you can see, we don't really have anything to exchange for my husband. Yeah, there's a lot of areas where you have to um, uh, put on your gas mask, or if you hear like uh, the place you're radiation. Running. It's really something. Increasing. I'd never expect to find. What? Regular folks living in the middle of the zone? You're right. We're anything but regular. We're hunters. We know these woods better than the trees know the rain. I must be pretty good. What about you? You're too young to... To what? Remember the Chernobyl disaster? You're right. I came with my mom from Minsk after my dad died. I was a teenager then. She was a doctor who wanted to help the radiation victims in the zone. She met Matt Vey here and, well, they took a liking to each other. Then NAR arrived and came down on us hard. Fucking fascists. My mom disappeared. That was some years ago now. Matve took care of me after that. Taught me everything I know. In Minsk, I was just an emo girl. Here, I'm the goddamn queen of the forest. Kostya came here two years ago with Doctors Without Borders. He stayed because of me, but yeah, the rest is really none of your business. <laughs> All right. I can see you're really looking out for your people. I appreciate that. I'll help if I can. I promise you won't regret it. For our friends, we serve fine vodka. For our enemies, we have shotguns. One more thing. These assholes who took Kostya, I'm pretty sure they have our supplies too. You want me to keep an eye out for the supplies too, huh? If you don't mind, but my old man comes first, obviously. Sure, sure. I live to serve. All right. Do I look like the chatty type? Okay. All right, dude. I mean, same, but geez. All right, let's go for, hey, look hey. for the uh, Heard supplies. Heard you're one of the crew running around giving NAR the squirts. How many of them have you killed already? I don't even know. I don't like to dwell on it. So many you lost count, eh? Right on. Keep doing what you're doing and we'll win this thing. You'll see. Or like, you'll see. All right. What have we got here? Uh, there's a guy right there. Now, are they... Um, hello? They're not actually there.
Nice. Oh god. Oh, I didn't know that. Why is it sometimes? Where is it? Sometimes this thing is full auto. And other times it's not. Uh, great. Wait, is he hallucinating? Why is that turning different colors? Right there. I don't know, is there a select fire key? Let's find out. Uh, nope, not there. Controls, control mapping. Reload, flashlight, crouch, use, aim, attack. I don't think there is a select fire. Luckily we have 80 rounds of this. <laughs> Uh, let me use, I'm going to use this. Bring that up. Grab this. Get rid of the rads. And then do we have, I don't think we have any healing, food healing stuff. Oh, these are all traps. Oh, there's anti-radiation ointment. I actually did not know that. I'll make one. Hey, ah, shoot. You know what I forgot? I should have used the, um, I, I have enough skill points to be able to, uh, get the, receive more materials upgrade now. So should have done that, but oh well. Save. so long damn village idiots take it easy remember time is on our side they'll come to us eventually there's one thing i still don't understand he said that go to sleep combat oh god oh god get ready get ready fire 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 everyone there's stuff down there there's a clue
So now we definitely need more rifle ammo. God. Oh God. Uh, wait, what is this? So, okay. There's got to be a way to go down. Not it. So it's you. Why did I suspect you were involved huh. in all this? Please, help me. My people are counting on me to return with food. Haven't we had this conversation before? I was looking for our stolen supplies and got jumped by those thugs. They stole your food and then set an ambush for you? Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. They're dead. You're safe now. Are you sure? Ask what happened. You say you went after the thieves? How did you know where to go, exactly? What do you mean? I uh, followed their tracks. I'm a skilled tracker and hunter uh, since I was a kid. Really? Olga said you were a doctor. What happened to the supplies? Must be somewhere nearby. We should stop and get them. I need to bring that stuff back. Why am I still locked up in here? Let me out and let's get back to Olga. I'll make sure you get the credit for retrieving the food. This guy is sketchy and gives me a weird vibe. Let's leave him here. If he's as skilled as he says he is, he can make it back on his own. This whole business about the food doesn't wash. I think I'll leave you in there for now. What are you saying? Are you crazy? I need to figure out what to do with you first. No way. More of those fuckers could show up any second. Or worse. Hmm. We could... Well, so there's a thing that we got earlier where we can go back and make choice different choices. So, I'm gonna play this out since, uh, the one guy... He wouldn't like it, this guy, Sashko, if I chose the other option. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we're just going to tell her that he died. So the gas mask doesn't stop radiation. It just stops the uh, other stuff. I retrieved your supplies. That's fantastic. What about the thieves? Just some NAR bastards trying to earn something on the side. They won't bother you anymore. Good riddance. Nobody will shed a tear for those parasites. You came through, Igor. You're a man of your word. <laughs> One more thing. Kostya never made it back to the camp. If you happen to run into him, tell him to hurry. We need him. I need him. I am 
have no fucking idea what you think you're gonna accomplish by telling her the truth. But yeah, go for it. I can't fucking wait to hear her reaction. <laughs> she will understand. Oh God. I should have freed him. I don't know where he is. Sorry. I was hoping you had news. Well, Kosti is a big boy. I'm sure he can handle himself. But if you meet him, be sure to send him my way, okay? How about joining forces? Your people seem to have everything under control here. I could use someone with your <laughs> skills Mikhail and drive. not like this. And I could use someone who knows so much about NAR technology. Yeah, I think Madvin yeah, can take we have to go on back. his own for a while. Lead the way. Lead the way. I'll open a portal for you. Just don't freak out, okay? <laughs> it is a little unsettling, but I trust you. Hop on and enjoy the ride. I'll see you at the base. <laughs> no, you definitely did. Yeah, I probably should have just released them. Ah, uh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, okay. Well, let's go back to the portal ourselves. And if I have enough Chernobylite, then I will change that. What happened? Because it didn't say that um, the one guy liked my decision or disliked it, so... But then Mikhail did not like that I didn't tell the truth. <laughs> I appreciate you joining my little team. If this will ensure the safety of my people, then it's the right thing to do. Learn about the village? Your village. Does it have a name? We just call it Matvi's place. Uh, initially, it was nothing but some old huts, but when those bastards started showing up on our doorstep, we decided to fortify our position. It looks almost like a stronghold. You think it could withstand an NAR siege? Not if they bring trebuchets and ballistas, but seriously, we're doing fine. Food shortages have always been the biggest issue. So I guess it's kind of a medieval situation. Shit. I was going to say NAR is only part of the problem. How do you deal with the shadows? We call them lurkers. They don't come around the village for some reason. I asked Matt Vey about it once, but yeah, he it wasn't very forthcoming. Cool. Said something about specific microclimate of this spot. Microclimate, you say? Hmm. The important thing is that we're safe in the village, at least from that group of monsters. I trust Matt Vey. His word's good enough for me. How do you deal with NAR? Any way we can. Mostly with guns and bullets and knives and pretty much whatever can be used to hurry someone along to the grave. I wonder why they're so intent on harassing you. <laughs> you don't bother anyone out here. We thought the same thing at first. We figured maybe we could come to an understanding and they'd leave us alone. We got the whole wilderness here after all. Some low-level mercs agreed to turn a blind eye, but then they started coming to collect. A tribute? Exactly. It started small, but then the fuckers got greedy. <laughs> Naturally. They even wanted to borrow some ladies from our village for a party. Sounds awful. I actually volunteered. I said to Matve, I'm no lady, but I'll go. And Matve replied, like hell you will. And then he told those NAR bastards to go to hell. Well, that's understandable. He's your stepdad. He was worried about what they'd do to you. <laughs> hell no. He knew if I went with them that they'd all end up dead with a mouthful of severed dick. I guess he wanted to avoid an all-out war for as long as possible. <laughs> you truly are something, Olga. All right, we're done for the day. Success, very good. Everybody gets some food, so that's good. Oh boy, that thing looks like it's gonna explode soon. Uh, 
Um, okay. I am going to grab a drink real quick and run to the bathroom. All right, we are back, so let's go ahead and continue. Um, oh. So the one thing I learned, that's cool. So they check out stuff as you're, oh, right. Need to make more beds now. Make one of these. There. Now we should be good. I came back with some cereal and some bread. Nice. And to make a sandwich. Nice. Good stuff right there. Drop all those in there. I think we have some. Yeah, we do have ammo. Good. We needed needed some of that. Um, throw this right. Some of these plates we really don't need. <laughs> throw the food food in here. Um. So, how many Chernobylite do I have right now? I have three. Mechanical parts. Wow, we're actually doing kind of low on mechanical parts right now. We have 69 rounds? Really? How many do, th do these hold? Forty-nine right now. Where's the rest? Oh, there's some. And okay, now he has 69. Huh. Interesting. Yo, Professor K Dog! Good day, Mikhail. Ever heard of Kasparovsky? Actually, yes. I was already living in the UK when he became famous. When I was just a little shit, my auntie took me to Slavitich to see him. That's only 50 kilometers from Chernobyl. He came to perform psychic healing sessions for the liquidators. <laughs> psychic healing my ass. Why do you have to be like that, Igor? Why don't you try opening your mind? Just crack the Open solid steel mind. skull of yours the tiniest bit and let the possibility of a miracle in. It's just not my cup of tea. I deal with cold, hard facts. Everything else is fantasy. Or at best speculation. But there are alternate worldviews and scientific theories, no? No, there aren't. Unless you can prove something using the scientific method, it's no more than someone's opinion. But maybe different scientific worldviews can somehow coexist. It's all in our mind. Perhaps the Earth can be like a ball and like a pancake at the same time. Earth is not a ball. It's a fucking oblate spheroid. See? You're already coming up with alternate theories. It's not an alternate. I knew I could expand your worldview, but enough chit chat. Sure. <laughs> it's actually funny. Um, okay, actually, before I do that, what skills can Olga teach me? Ah, he's the one that gives you all of this stuff. Okay. Just inventory slots and assault rifle damage. The fuck All right, you Mikhail, want? I want Mikhail, you to train me fuck gathering. with some perfect gathering. Perfect. Uh, he's literally just going to take me out into an area and be like, grab as many as he gathering can. Gathering supplies seems easy enough. Herbs with large leaves can often be found in the vicinity or even beneath them. Ready to put Uncle Mikhail's... You need to find two mushrooms. And, and because my time is so precious, I'm giving you no three, two... Ah, oh, fuck it. Just go. Go fetch me some motherfucking mushrooms and... Oh, I got everything.
Go, go, go. Okay, that's easy enough. He literally just makes you go out there and grab stuff. But now we got perfect gathering. So we get 30% more of everything we pick up. So sweet. Uh, let's save. And so first, now I finally know the reason. So when we went to that thing earlier where we changed the history, um, that was using the one thing that allows you to or we died essentially and this right here will let us do that without costing anything or losing anything it literally says self -annihil annihilate so let me put this down okay drill suction uh and yeah so this will let us kill ourselves uh this device allows you to use the power of radiation to dissolve their body instantly if you fi ever find yourself in a hopeless situation it will let you end your life quickly and painlessly radiation chamber allows you to self-annihilate by killing yourself this way you will keep all your items and that's what takes us back to that area where we got to change the history of things So now we can make these <laughs> but that was the wrong pipe. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Jeez. Whew. All right, let's uh, make no mistake. This device will kill you. However, you not be punished for this and you will not lose items. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. <clears throat> Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it end like this. Go, die, fade, portal, help, <laughs> die, Igor. Oh, just some water going down my throat, <laughs> my air pipe. <clears throat> there we go. Cool. So now, let's see. It's the guy that we saved. There's that one. Huh. I think... I'm wondering if... <clears throat> doing different things here... Changes the one next to it. So, like... Like, all of these down here. Like, what is that? <clears throat> While searching Tarakan's hideout, you disarmed his traps, leaving the place vulnerable. You considered rearming the trap. These events have not happened yet as the... Tarakan asked you to burn all of his notes. Instead, you... Sashko asked you to... Mikhail wanted you to help him wipe out the Our activity lowered You saved Mikhail from poisonous gas
Mikhail asked you to save his wounded business partner, and you managed to do it. You reached the supplies, but someone else got there first. You let him take the food and leave. That's the same guy, I think, as this one. Down here. Oh, there's three of them. Huh. You met Kostya. He was captured and held prisoner by the NAR. He asked you to release him, but you hesitated. You left him to rot and... You successfully brought the food back, but weren't sure whether you should tell Olga about Kostya or not. You asked her to join you, and Olga agreed. You met Kostya. You left him to... Don't worry too much about this now, Igor. Just be prepared, because it can still happen in the future. You successfully brought... Would you have done it differently if you had the chance? You successfully brought the food back, but were unsure if you could tell Olga about Kostya. Perhaps you could have asked her to join you? Would you have done it differently? You met Kostya. He was captured and you left him to run. Right, let's we'll have to rearrange it. the timeline, Igor. Let me out and let's get back to old. This guy is sketchy. Let's leave him here. Are you? All right, you're free. Head back to the camp. Thanks. I'll put a good word in for you. Oh, now he doesn't like this? Whoa. Oh, God. Kostya asked you to give him food for the Samos shields so he could incapacitate Matvey and run the village differently. You felt his plan was unacceptable and refused. Whoa. Relive memory. Let's rearrange some pieces on the space-time chessboard, Igor. You have the supplies, right? Let me take them off your hands. Thanks. What? <laughs> Those are some balls you've got there. I... I really need you to hand them over. I'll give them right back to Olga, promise. Either you tell me what is this all about, or I'm not giving you shit. All right, all right. Look, I've been trying to help these people for years. Show them how to run this place better, organize themselves and whatnot. Go on. But for some reason, they don't trust me. They only listen to Olga and that old coot Matve. Don't get me wrong, I love Olga, I love all of them. They're my family, and I live to protect them, even when it's against their wishes. Maybe they don't trust you because you're a lying sack of shit. What do you want with the supplies? Matve needs to learn his place. He's reckless, makes decisions that could get us all killed. His reign of terror has to be stopped. I'm going to spike his food, just give him a little something to make him a bit more, um, docile. Then I can make some changes around here, and Olga will finally see reason. She's under Matvey's influence. It has to stop. Well, that's... <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. So this is all about your personal vendetta? I'm a doctor. As you know, I'll be very careful with the dosage. It won't do any real harm. Trust me. This will benefit everyone. If you help me with this, oh you'll my always God. find that's support probably here. Like a Whatever huge you need, timeline I'll get it for you. Before I make up my mind, I need you to come clean about one more thing. Did you steal the supplies yourself to orchestrate this plan? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. But only because of how much I care about this place. I'm willing to do the hard thing to save everyone. I trust that you can see this and will make the right call. You know you need allies in a place like this. No way! I'm not going to let you poison anyone. That's insane. I'm willing to trust uh, this guy. Answer. Wait, so what happens? Oh, God. Now we have to you make this choice. You successfully brought the food back, but weren't sure whether you should tell Olga about Kostya or not. You asked her to join you, and Olga agreed. Relive memory. 
Are you ready to readjust the timeline, Igor? I retrieved your supplies. Thank you for saving Kostya. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. How about... And I can lead the way. I'll open... Okay, so that's how that ends. Huh. I wonder what timelines it changes if you do help them. Because that can be pretty... That's a pretty substantial thing. Is this the same guy? You reached the supplies, but someone else... Let's rearrange the time. Hey, don't hurt me. I'm, I'm it unarmed. It is. Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I, I know traitor. I was never even with the NAR. You'll have to be a lot. All right, but those. And what? One it's thing. Out, uh, interest. Uh, basically, yeah, he's. How did you. I need to yeah. go. Who's there? Sorry, I can't. Sorry, but. Who? Uh, we're both in. Yeah. And three. Oh my god. Ah, uh, sh- Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> we just chased the entire timeline. You reached the supplies, but someone else got there first. Wait. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know that I killed him. So it just erased both of those. You successfully brought the food back, but weren't sure whether you should tell Olga about Kostya or not. You asked her to join you. Oh my god. You reached the supply. Don't worry about it now, Igor, but know that it can still happen in the future. Remember that and be prepared. Ah, so it reopens that. You reach the supply. You reach the supplies, but. Let's rear. Hey, don't. Hands where I. What? You'll have to be alone. All right, those. And what? One thumb. Interest. Yeah. Wait, Wait so I just have to I use it. That. So, it's kind of annoying. Them. Yeah. Unless if you can just do this. I can't. What? It should. I feel like you should be able to. Because now I need to, like, reload. Literally. I feel like if you're in this area. You should be able to select which options. I know it can completely play out differently, but that just closed off like multiple potential two things that can happen. I feel like it, it should be you spend three Chernobylite and you can go back and forth between the two. But then if you want to change a different outcome for a different one, now you have to spend another three. So like each one of these pillars, I think it should be three Chernobylite to change it. Then after you spend it, you can go back and forth between the two, see what happens, choose which one, and then leave it like that. Made the right choice by not helping Kostya. I'm not saying anything. But now I know. <laughs> Where is this one? This is 49. I'm going to load this auto save. Igor. It's not the end. I won't let it end. He's dead. I need to do the one where he's not dead.
I think this is it. Well, so if I just go here, I don't know. Let's find out. From now on, Igor, we save before we do not anything. The end. I won't let it end like. I do want to. If I had the extra Chernobylite, I would check and see what it does. But I don't have that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so if we come back right here, you he already made this thing. How much Chernobylite do we have right now? Eight? Okay. Self annihilate, yes. Only if you yeah. Igor, I appreciate it's that. It's not the end. I won't let it end like Personally, that's where I kind of do research sometimes, too. <laughs> it's cool how many, like, alternate timelines there is, though. Like, that that really is neat. I wonder what we have to do to unlock this one. Because it, it seems like for each one of these, like, as you go back further, like, these are earlier on. So... I feel like this These one should have, have happened. These events have not happened yet, as the future is not predetermined. But it's not. And then this one, same thing. But I've done that. I've done that. Okay, so we let him go there. Here. You met Kostya. He was captured and held prisoner by the... You left him to... You know what we can do? Save right here and find out what happens. You let's, successfully brought the Let's find out what happens when we told if we tell her that we we watched Are you him ready die. to readjust? I retro one more Kostian if you I have no He might be dead by now. But what the hell does that mean? Explain He was in a jail cell and for good reason. I'm afraid the shadows got him. I'm very sorry. Oh my god. How could you? Get away from me, you piece of shit! Olga, please. No shooting in the village. That rule was your own idea. And besides, this isn't how we solve problems. Wrong. This is exactly how I solve this kind of problem. And you, you fucker! You got that? So you better watch yourself. I will never forget what you've done. <laughs> she did not like that. All right, so now we're going to reload that uh, last thing. Right before. Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it end like that. Hold on one second. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh. 
so here you met Kostya. He was captured and you left him. To change memory. Let's re let's get us leave him. All right, thanks. Sashko would not like this. He'll get over it. Kostya asked you to give him food. You felt it. Let's re you what? I easy you t all right. Look, go on. But for don't get maybe not fix rain. You already had this conversation, I'm so I'm just gonna I'm speak a, through it. That you can now I'm I'm good no right way. now. Um, I know I'm just making these choices. You successfully. And then I'm gonna tell her Are you about ready it. To I retreat. Thank you if you need it. Scared to join you. How about and lead the way? I'll because it makes me since it's it's red right there it makes you re relive them and that's it so now that we have those we're good and now now we didn't help him did not help him hey Kostya asked you to give him food for the Samosh shields so he could incapacitate Matvey and run the village differently. You felt his plan was unacceptable and refused. Yeah, I, I already made the, the choice. Wait, Mikhail so... Mikhail asked you to save his wound. Don't worry too much about it now. Oops, I didn't mean to Mikhail do asked you to Now you're good, man. I appreciate it, though. I'm kind of trying to just play it out a little bit, too. So, what while searching Tarakan's hideout, you disarmed his traps, leaving the place vulnerable to the NAR. You considered rearming the traps, but feared they could be set off by a civilian. Because of that fear, you decided. Tarakan asked you to burn all of his notes. Let's move the pieces on the cosmic chessboard, Igor. You will make time once you see the truth. I'm the keeper of the memories of those different NAR needs to be a quiet mousy. Oh, you never if NAR burn it, but we cannot take it. Yo, what's going on, Kilgan? How's this game? It's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot, a lot to it. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, choices and things like that. Yeah, I've been pretty good. How about yourself? This area, so just as a warning, um, this area right here, it basically shows all your previous choices um in the storyline so if you don't want to get spoiled just let you know but i'm about to leave it here so uh you don't really miss anything right now oh wait does that reset it what does that do oh it just takes you to the other end i see instead of having to run all the way okay and then you can wake up with your new changes.
doing good as well. Good, good. Day 11, the refugee. Oh, it's a specific thing. I'm missing one clue. For the conspiracy. Um, so it's kind of like a think of it as a metro slash fallout style game. Um yeah, there is a, a mystery to it. I need to talk to you, Igor. This is important. What's going on? I've gotten word from Mafe. His scouts discovered a prison in the Red Forest. They just discovered it now. I thought you guys knew this place better than the mice. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. It must have happened recently. Go on. We didn't know about it because there's no reason to venture out that way anymore. That part of the woods is crawling with lurkers and any argoons. And Matvey thinks it's a prison. Exactly. Someone's being guarded there. Whoever it is, it could be important. I know it's a long shot, but I still think it's worth it. It's not heavily guarded either. Definitely worth a try. Do you think it could be your mom? No, I, I don't. I believe she's gone. I've made my peace with it a long time ago. So, I take it you want me to check out this bunker prison? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. And Mathe is occupied elsewhere. Are you in? You've got a point. It makes sense to have this place on our radar. I'll check it out. That a boy. Now go bring me back some good news. Did we already do the mission? Do we have a thing that says completed missions? Well, I'm more interested in this game as well because I recently watched the Chernobyl series. I, I started watching it. I saw like the first two episodes the one day. Uh, from our jail. That seems, didn't seem to be honest with you. Oh boy. We have to like manage everybody's uh, things too. Not happy with me right now. Sashko. Okay. What's this next mission? I thought there was a thing that told you all your previously ran missions. Uh, looks like the missions are timed as well. So, yes and no. No, because, um, so these days left one, um, these are just different areas. So there's nothing specific to them. The red one, they actually don't have a limit. So if you don't do this, um, from my understanding is that, say if I went to do the food stash myself, uh, then the next day. I could go do this. I think they stay there no matter what. It's just the other ones um, uh, expire. Because technically these are all just different areas. So, and as you can see right here too, they all have different percentages. So if I assign myself to this mission, then I can assign uh, Mikhail to get the food stash i can assign uh sashko to kopachi to get the medicine supply and then i could assign uh olga 
for the medicine at Pripyat port. And then Oliver for exploring. Exactly. So like, and that's the thing, they'll come back with those equipment and stuff. So like, if I wanted to, I could go do this and grab medicine and check out any other stuff they have there. Or if I want to go to the next area, same thing. Um, but there's one thing I'm trying to see is I, I'm missing a companion. I'm pretty sure. And I'm supposed to have him by now. So I'm looking how to, how to get them basically. I don't know if I did that mission already. I don't think I did though. Hold on. I'm going to save one time. Because the mission that he's in is called the crumb. The crumb trail. Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it. I'll have to add it to the wish list. It looks entertaining. It's really cool. And it's uh, their exploration. And everything too is really neat and and a lot of fun. Um, so Tarakan asked you to burn. Memento from the past. While searching Tarakan's hideout, you disarmed his traps, leaving the place vulnerable to the end. You considered rearming the traps, but feared they could. Now this That's one is piece. just you will... What's the story about I wanted you to remember and I wanted you to make a choice I needed to make sure you won't follow the rat king's path Quiet, Mousy. Oh, you never expected the second test to come so far. If NAR discovers these documents, don't realize we've been monitoring them this whole time. Burn it. Burn it all. Do it now. We cannot take any chances with those bastards on Red's Mousy. I think I should change this one. And that brings Sashko's uh, like liking me more, too, which is good. Terracon asked you to burn all. That's meeting with him. Okay, so I don't think we got the mission yet, then. While searching Terracon's hideout, you consider. This is old documents, and it's somewhere after this one. Happened. So. Mikhail wanted. Hacking into NAR servers. Did you just time travel? Yes. You saved Mikhail. So this is kind of a little bit of a 
uh, spoiler area These where we're at right now. But essentially, you can change your timeline. Uh, so if you make a choice that you don't like or you want to see the different outcomes, you come here and you can change your uh, choices with a... Um, this All this green stuff, this is Chernobylite. So if you get little pieces of it, it costs three pieces. So you can go back and redo your choices. <laughs> okay, so... Made for people my, like me. I am so confused right now. Sorry, I'm just, I'm reading something. I have to see combat. I think. Uh, yeah, I will. We'll run this mission in a second here. I'm just looking at stuff. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out how I can get this guy, but I think I have him almost in the bag. I need to talk to you, Igor. What's going on? I've gotten word from Mathe. They just discovered it now. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. Go on. We didn't know about And? Exactly. So I know it's definitely... Do you think we, it we could... We technically no, just had this conversation with her. You've got a... a book. Okay. So we're going to help her. Um, yeah, who Tarakon? Exactly. I don't think we, we've gotten to the point of his yet. Because I've done everything that he likes so far. Um, I think you can recruit him after, so. Worst case, we can always go back and change things. It's just we, we see him during that one mission, and then that's it. He's right at the beginning, I think. I don't, I don't know. Apparently he's not fully needed, but I'm like, oh. I know the mission name and I know what I need to do, but I'm just like struggling to find it. It's like, it doesn't, it, it the game is so, 
there's so many different outcomes for different things and the last thing we saw him was after those documents and then that's it so it's like like i'm looking at a dialogue no requirements needed Tasco is calling you you get seven quests Tarakon is not needed for the story, but you can learn some good perks from Tarakon. Uh, investigation that will show up in the trap. Uh, R4. Uh, in the time tunnel, Tarakon often gets a relation status and leaves me after exiting. It happens yet. Like, I'm just so confused. Tarakon. Need to play the old document quest. Tape the room to access. Uh, I don't know if I should redo it. Like, do I forget the memory and then just redo the mission? And it'll be like as if I never played it. Maybe. I'm going to give that a try. I think it's free to forget memories, but I don't know how much it's going to change. So let's find out. So Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it end. Like In the one mission that I have uh, the, this documents mission I got two demanding you can change the gift to won't be fun <laughs> it's telling me that because I keep killing myself <laughs> that's funny because technically to get to this you have to actually kill yourself while searching Tarakan's hideout you disarmed his traps leaving the place vulnerable you considered rearming the traps but feared they could be set off by a si So, what happens if Don't we Don't worry about this, this for now, but remember it. While searching Tarak, you considered. While searching Tarak, you considered. Let's make a change and see. Maybe I should rearm the tr What? What? Whoever's after us, wouldn't it be proof? To what? Exactly. Look, I've got no. You're right. Good. But in the thing, it says that Nar sets up the traps. But for me, I don't know. While searching Tarakan's hideout, you considered. I can forget it. We'll forget this memory. I don't know. Let's find out what happens. We saved right before we came back in here, so. Tarakan just happened to be there. If that's true, then technically we just haven't gotten to the mission yet. A 
I need to talk to you, Igor. What's going on? I've gotten word. They just did it is go on we and exact. I know it's definitely. Do you think it? No. So I would not. You've got. That There's just so many different outcomes that can happen. All right, I am just going to reload before I made that change and forgot the memory, and we are just going to move on from there. Because <laughs> I'm like, just, I don't know, man, at this point. Um, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, though, as this is a reloading, so I will be right back. I know it's definitely... Do you think... It no. So. I wouldn't ask... I've gotten this one so many You've times. All right, here we go. Sign myself. Food stash. Let's do this. I know you just want to do the right thing, but are you sure you're not wasting your time? You usually don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. This whole zone is littered with old Soviet bunkers and relics of the past. Why would the NAR be interested in any of that? Day 11. Okay. Let's see how this one goes here. This will be interesting. Welcome to Chernobyl. I just arrived in Red Forest. Great. Keep your eyes open and you should spot it. On my way. I don't know if I've been here before. Drop so many materials. There's a uh, Chernobylite burner down there. God, I thought something grabbed me, but I just dodged. Nice, we got three from that one. Cool.
Oh wait, no, we were definitely here before. It just seems darker. Maybe it's the time. Yeah, because we got this clue before. Save. Don't see him. Bro, where? It's like it when I look that way, it goes the other way. the entrance watch out for guards they're probably close by of course where else would they be i don't think we can stealth take down these people Assassinated. Hey, little guy, what are you doing here? This is no place for children. No kidding, old timer. Let me out of here before the guards come back. What's your name, kid? I'm Gleb. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me out of here, or my uncle will kick the crap out of you. Oh, 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 easy there, little fella. I'm not little. I'm already ten, you know. First, I need to know how you ended up here. What is this place? I was going to visit my uncle. He was supposed to pick me up in Slavutich, and... This black van came after me. There were two big guys with faces like potatoes. They said that they would take me to my uncle, and they gave me a can of Coke. It's supposed to wake you up, but I got really sleepy. They kidnapped you? When I woke up, I was in here. But I wasn't scared. I didn't even cry. Maybe just a little. I'm almost a grown-up. I tried to escape once by myself, but the stupid guards caught me and put me back in this cage. And, and one of them said, if you try and run again, you'll regret it, little rat. But I'm not like a little rat at all. Rats stink and poop everywhere. You're the bravest little boy I ever met, Gleb. I told you, I'm not a little boy. Who's your uncle? Someone important? Of course he is. He's a big shot around here. When he hears what happened to me, heads will roll. That's exactly what he'll say. Hmm, I wonder. Is your uncle in the military? He was in the army like my daddy, but mummy and daddy are both in heaven now, so uncle is taking care of me. I'm sorry about your parents. So, he's a soldier, eh? He's working on something big and important for important people, but I don't know what it is. You're a riddle wrapped in an enigma, my dear lad.
I want to help you, Glenn, but I need to ask you something first, okay? Okay, okay, but hurry up before the guards come back. I hate them. They stink like onions in medicine. What kind of medicine? I don't know, but my uncle drinks it too. Says it's good for his heart. He always carries a small bottle of it in his chest pocket. Really smelly. I see. That kind of medicine. These men, did they ever hurt you? Did they give you something? Shots, maybe? Or pills? No, they only yelled at me when I told them to let me go. Did they put you in a weird machine? Or give you chino uh, green crystals? No, never. Huh, curious. So you have no idea why they put you in that cage? They'd say I'd be collater... collateral? Something like the bear. Collateral? Maybe. I don't know what that means. They said that my uncle knows I'm here, and he's coming to visit soon. But I bet they're liars. Poor boy. You've been through a lot. Can I see my uncle now? Please, please, please. Soon, kiddo. Just give me a minute to think here. All right. Time to bust you out of here. Thank you. I'll tell my uncle that you're a really nice person. Nobody deserves to be caged like that. You need to help him, Igor. Igor, look. If you think things through, you'll realize the lad is safer right where he is than out in the zone. Well, that didn't work out the last time I tried, so... <laughs> Olga, I found something. A control panel. Perhaps it opens the cell doors. What now, Igor? Do you have any babysitting experience? Let the little wolf go. You can't leave him in that cage. It's inhuman. And the kid should stay in the bunker for now. Even if he's a prisoner, he's protected. He's safer in there than outside. How about sending him to Madface? You said it was reasonably safe, right? Not a place for kids. Everyone needs to know how to fight. What are they gonna do with them anyway? Why can't you just, I don't know, open that portal of yours and send them to your base? I thought about it, but it's too risky. He's too small. The molecular structure of his body may be irreversibly changed. In that case, I'm telling you, leave him right where he is. Olga? I'm sending the kid to your village. I really hope you thought this through. He'll have to grow up very fast over there. They're not gonna go easy on him. I was out on the streets even younger than him, and I turned out all right, didn't I? The kid's brave. I bet he'll do just fine. The village is the only safe place in the zone. There's a village nearby, Glib. A stronghold full of people, like soldiers, but on our side. They'll shelter you. Just say, Olga sent you. No problem. I received a merit badge for my orienteering. Tub of Not a little boy. All right, we let him go, but Olga would not like it, though. So. Uh-oh, current status is bad. Great. Good choice. <laughs> we'll just have to do the next thing that she likes. All right, I'm gonna head out of this place. Good, good. How weird was that, huh? Discovering a secret NAR prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I guess it pays off to follow every lead. If it wasn't for you and Madvi, we might never have found this place. It was nothing. I'm happy you saved that kid. I really am. I want you to know that. They told me you arrived safely in the village. Uh, I still think it was the wrong decision at the time, but you were under a lot of pressure. Anyway, next time, please listen to me, little babushka, okay?
Nice. Whoa, what is that? This is like a giant force field out there. I'm curious, if we view the discussions... altering did I die yet like now Wait, what? Hold on. I'm looking up to see if I... Know what mission it's called? All right, I don't know. Let's go to sleep and see if we get it the next day. Oh yeah, I did. I did die without the machine. There was an explosion that went off. Missing one clue. Sick partner? Shoot. I know how to make small shape charges. Perfect for demolition locks. Right. I can see that coming in handy. But first, I need you to pick up the plastic left over from the Dugar Raider operation. Sounds like it's worth it. I'm a practical man. 
I wouldn't go suggesting shit like this. It was just I built my first pipe bomb when I was... How did such a promising young man ever end up here? <laughs> I've left some plastique in my old hidey hole. Ready to go? Sure. I'll mark the building on your map. Okay, I think we might be on the right track. Because I didn't get this mission after it blowing up. Because I didn't originally blow up the one place. So now that we did, I wonder if it'll make a big difference or not. Everyone has like a 99%. All right, maybe it'll pop up after this. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Charges? <laughs> I always knew that you had something explosive hidden inside of you, Professor Kimunu. Just be very careful, love. Once you help someone, you can easily become responsible for them. So from my understanding, you have to blow up the thing, then burn the documents. And then after you do the documents mission, then you should get the one for Tarkin. But we haven't heard okay, anything Sashko. from him I'm in so position. far. You should find a place, no problem. So it's an story building on the perimeter of the Muscle now we're getting Sashko's I mission. I so I think we're doing it just a little bit out of order, but I think we're on the right path now. <laughs> at least I think that so we'll find out jeez need more lock picks again my th radar going off like crazy right now. Okay, do we have calming? Yeah, we do. Trying to see if I can do these since we're right here. We get a real good amount of materials now too while we're out at, at out doing this. Again. This is how you get your good, sir. Gordon Gecko, my ass. Wait, it's not like that. Don't bullshit me. I heard the gunshot. I'm not a murderer. You have to believe me. This dude was already a goner. I just... I put him out of his misery. It was mercy. You could have tried to help him instead. I wonder how your other customers will react to this. Or maybe you just shoot them too. Well, I forgot about this no, guy. No, of course not. I just... Look, out here, you need to take opportunities whenever you see them. Otherwise, you'll never make it. How about you forget you saw me, and next time, I might have something extra for you. Fine. I guess I can't really... We've got a deal, then. 
Fair enough. Is. I hate being outside. Cold, wet, and full of mosquitoes all biting you in the deck. I'm just gonna run to the next objective. This guy. Uh, what a day. What a shitty, shitty day. Shit. Oh. He leveled up. Got him. Alright, let's go back over to this guy. What you got, Stop friend? Right there. You're on Prippy and Bradford term now. You can help me. Uh, uh, geez, uh, what a uh, uh, well, there's an, and there's a probably talked talk to this guy so many you? times. You mentioned what kind of... What about this? That'll be what... Sure thing. Here you go. It's just. I better be going. Run for for it. <laughs> Box of loot. It actually has to be able to fit in your inventory. All right. Do some searching. Sashko, I found the plastique box, but it's empty. There are some droppings, and... Uh, is it possible rats took your charges? Well, shit, those sneaky bastards must have been really hungry. Now what? Well, 
No charges means more work for me and also more work for you. I can make the compound from scratch, but that means I'll need the ingredients from somewhere else. But first, we need to take care of the rat problem. What do you mean? You got the detonator? Press the button. Why would I do that? To blow these bastards to rat kingdom come. I don't want them running around with my charges. Slow down. You have no idea where those explosive rats of yours are. They could be under the floor or in the walls. I don't harbor any secret love for rats, believe me. But this is just stupid. I'm done with your whole living dangerously routine. I'm not going to do it. Too bad. Do you have any sense at all? Whatever. Do what you want. Where do you even come up with this shit? It's not a real detonator. It's just a prop. I was just messing with you, Professor. Trust me, I wouldn't risk a life of my brave companion like that. But you still need to go to find my other stash and bring me the components I need. It's right next to the connector. What? It's bad now. Olga will like this. Well, at least she's uh, neutral now. Sashko, I found the building, but it's crawling with NAR soldiers. Looks like they know about the stash. Any ideas? Fuckers, they must have spotted me earlier. A little heads up would be appreciated next time. Hey, you got this, man. You're better at this shit than you give yourself credit for. Thanks, but... You're breaking up. I'm losing signal. Eagle! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Signal! Sashko! Uh, Sashko! Damn it! everywhere right now Sashko, I found your components Glad to hear it For a moment there I thought I might lose my favorite partner in crime Was that supposed to be humor, Sashko? Not bad for a first try Hardware for real men. Whew. Living dangerously. Alright, let's just get out of here. Sashko, you know the difference between dynamite and nitroglycerin. I need you to be more stable, like dynamite, and less like nitroglycerin, which will just blow a person to hell for no reason. You want to make an omelette? You got to crack a few skulls, am I right? If you know so much about eggs, how about helping out with the cooking? Nah, that's your department. I'll stick to what I'm good at, blowing shit up. All right. Yeah. 
Your members gathered four out of five. We're there, my bu I was just thinking, how did you get to be so knowledgeable? Why? What's so goddamn strange about that? I never said it was strange. <laughs> I'm just curious. You created your own compendium. No small undertaking. I studied a lot, you know. Best fucking school. Nice. Give me that. I'm always everything and so if you. Well, I'm so like much. Sounds... How else would I? Wait. Thank you. Ingest Thank you. Like yep. Okay. yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. It'll go all day. All right. Let's. Day. Day 13. Um, we haven't made anything for a bit. Let's see. Shotgun, railgun. more inventory space. How many rounds of do we have? Shotgun shells. Wow, 216 <laughs> revolver ammo. One, two, three, four, five. I don't need 10 of those. Actually, we can hold on to 10. Oh, you know what I forgot? Probably because Olga doesn't have a weapon. Probably why she's not doing as good for some things. So let me actually give her a, a rifle. Jack Frost? That's an old nickname me and Boris gave Professor Semenov when we were still students. Could it be? He brought me here to Pripyat years ago. Helped me get Tatiana a position too. And now he works for NAR? He must have his reasons. And he's always been a brilliant scientist. He's still my best shot at finding Tatiana. I need to see him. Your old mentor, huh? 
Try and find him if you think it's important. Just be extra careful. I'm always careful, Olivia. You'll most likely have an escort. Try to... Ready for some action, Eagle? There you go. A nice rifle for you. What's the plan? He's got a revolver. All right, Igor, what's... Got an AK. So, what's the... He's got a revolver. There we go. Her percentages are a lot better now. Cool. Where's the shotgun love? No one has one. I know. I should. I should Gold give him one. Seven off. A good old Jack Frost. You must wonder what happened to him all those years ago. Why would he work with the NAR, my love? Surely he must have a good explanation. He was always kind to us. Hold on one second. These are important. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm going to see if I can this without. Yeah, see? Her requirement Sashka is calling you back. I'm going to pass, destroy it, or take mind control. Search docs, Tarkin, minus, burn, Sasko, plus. And after that one, you should get this. But mine went from this to this. Because originally I did this. Then originally I did this. I just like completely skipped over this one and went to this. Then the I just did this mission. Then I just did this mission. Okay. I don't know, maybe it'll pop up again. <laughs> You're good. All right, let's see how this one goes. We are making some progress. That's for sure.
is this? Perceptive. You seem to be in a bit of a predicament, friend. You think it's funny? A chunk of the ceiling collapsed and knocked me out. Oh, I can't move. I alerted my squad. They should be here any minute. Well, good luck with that. Wait, 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 wait. Can you spare a gas mask filter? A hard to breathe in here, eh? Yes. My filter got fucked up when the ceiling collapsed. I could use an extra one, you know? Just in case it takes the rescue party a while to get here. Sure. Here you go. Stay safe. You know, I've helped out so many NAR soldiers. But I have not had any assistance yet for anything else. But I'm really curious when they're going to actually help me. Usually the locksmith is right here. Get it. We dispatched an entire squad to fly in here and escort this old fart just so he can dig through some papers? This old fart is more valuable to them than an entire battalion of grunts like you. Guess I'm in the wrong line of work, huh? Not at all, Sasha. I think you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You. I'm surprised to see you here. You are. It's Igor. You remember me, Professor Semenov, don't you? It's been a long time. I thought you would have retired by now. But I guess there's no rest for a man of science like you and me. Igor, it's so good to see you. But what are you doing here? It's not safe. What are you doing here, Professor? Are you... Are you really working for NAR? Do you know what they're doing in the zone? How they treat the... Summer shells. Please, Igor, slow down. My concern is science, as it always has been. The politics and administrative piffle I leave to others. Then what are you doing here, exactly? You don't need to worry about me. I haven't turned into Dr. Mengele. I study the local, uh, fauna. They're very peculiar, very dangerous. You must have run into them at Welcome some back. point. There are reports dating back from before the Chernobyl catastrophe. It's very important that we gather every bit of available information. Let the man catch his breath. Otherwise, he may become suspicious. He was probably forced to work for NAR. That's my guess. 
So this is Semenov. Very smooth, very slick. I wouldn't trust him if I were you. Reports? In an abandoned kindergarten? It wasn't only a kindergarten, you know. Back then, we've always been watched, monitored by those who want to control us. I tried to shield you from this. So this place, it used to be KGB document storage. There's a lot of stuff left in the basement. Please answer me, Professor. Did you sign some sort of pact with NAR? A pact? How melodramatic. How ominous. <laughs> I signed a confidentiality agreement and a contract of work, yes. But I'm not responsible for how they police their facilities. They have people for that. Can't you see what's going on here? This is much too important to leave to the halfwits in military uniforms and Armani suits. Chernobylite needs to be properly studied by real professionals. I haven't seen Tatyana in 30 years. I... I seem to have some blank spots in my memory. I can't remember what happened the night of the disaster. I need to find her. I need to find out what happened to us. Reactor number four. That was a real disaster. Some of our colleagues paid the ultimate price for this misguided experiment. That's what happens when politicians are placed in charge of scientists. And Tatiana, such a sweet girl, and your friend Boris. You three were inseparable. I called you my three musketeers, remember? <laughs> Look, my security detail will be back soon to collect me. I don't want them to hurt you or start asking questions. How can I get in touch? I will find you. Now, go. I did not. Not yet, at least. Alright, back to the base. getting there day 14 This is hey, it. Me out, the dirty rats. You have to help me, Mousy. I am the only one who can defeat the Rat King. The junkyard in Kopachi. You hold the fate of the world in your hands. Please hurry. There we go. I'm saving my skill points for once I talk to him. The crumb trail. Here we go. Dude, my thing has been so out of order. 
That's actually kind of funny. All right, we need to get all of the food supply. Oh, wait. Before we leave. Pick up all these. And probably end exit my, or clear out my inventory a little bit. Nice. Plenty of those. I'll give somebody a shotgun. I'll swap out the two revolvers for the shotguns. Time to step up to the mark, Professor. Yes, sir. Are we doing something or not? I feel like I should make armor for everybody too. It's only take a second to make. I have a metal plate to operate. Tori's full. All right, let me go give everybody some armor. Why are we still hanging around here? I'm working on it. Jeez. Let's go, old time. What's our next move? What's the skinny partner? I don't even use that, so there you go. Everybody's got their own armor now. It's my revolver. Cool. All right, let's go do this next mission. good is that all five? Oh wait now Tashko that's all five why did Tarakan turn to you for help? He's been here a while surely he has other people who can do his bidding he knows more about you and me than he's letting on Watch out, my love. Watch out, my love. Bachi afternoon.
Hello, <laughs> fellow prospector. I have a fake. What's on your mind? I came across. Sorry, I need to focus. Save. Free time. He needs to find his brother. We have no idea where his brother's at still. Looks like the old loon can handle himself just fine. A trail of dead rats? Well, that can't be a coincidence. Oh, there they are. Are they food? Each one is giving me two food. What? Who's that? Don't oh. Oh. So this is what hackers see. <laughs> when they wall hack in the game. must have really worked him over. I hope he's still alive. It sounds so good. Is this Chief cheating? Yankee. No. That was our friend you killed. Not by the games thing. Stars were in a hurry. Don't rush it. I want to watch him sweat away his last seconds before the bullet. For Misha. If I'm going to act, it has to be now. Yes. Divine providence guided your hand. I'm too important to be killed by NAR's minions. We seem destined to keep running into each other, so you might as well come on board. Thank you. I'm beginning to think that your role in the fight against evil is as important as mine. Just trying to do the right thing. Of course you are, Mousy. Where the great rat catcher in the sky leads. One must One follow. Must follow. Oh. I love how there's no sound sometimes <laughs> when they leave. King of Mice. We have six skill points now. All right, let me just grab some materials here and then we will also head out. Boom. I think I'm still going to, or at least start one, start a playthrough of the Ascent after I finish this game. Cause I still, that game still looks pretty cool, but I don't know how far I would actually get into it. 
um, just as far as future games. Same thing with... Uh, I've got some questions for you, and it's very important city. that you answer as best you can. But that I one I haven't try, bought. Mousy. Or Metro? I actually, um, I actually played all of the Metros last year, uh, in order, and they're all on my YouTube channel as well. First, how did you get to Charles? I probably music won't box. replay Metro for a long the time. The red dress. She came to you. Where? When? I played them dreams. back to back. She has haunted my nights for years. She told me where to find it. The music box. She mentioned you too. What did she say exactly? She advised me that you could be an important instrument in the fight against the Rat King. I uh, dark she also wanted dark you to souls. See the I have music not. Box to convince you I am not. that all this is real. I I, I go back and forth. I keep seeing her too. At first, I thought it must be my imagination, but I don't know. No, maybe one day I would do. She's completely real. Dark Souls playthrough. For another moment. But I don't know. Why was NAR trying to kill you? Isn't it obvious, Mousy? <laughs> Nothing is obvious to me right now. I'm the only person who stands between humanity and the Rat King. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. His minions will try to kill me every chance they get. I will say, if there's enough requests about Dark Souls, one day, and I've been like, okay, like it would be one Why of those like retire the act for a while, sub goal Who type things. Are you really? What act? Or enough requests, there is nothing more and I real would do this. it. Tarakan is more real than you are. Does your name have some special meaning? Tarakan means cockroach and that is what i am a humble being reborn from the ashes of chernobyl's destruction tiny but resilient i used to be a person like you mousy but when divine providence called upon me to face the rat king tarakan was born one second i'm looking at something real quick All right. Good talk. Finally, we have got him. My game has been completely out of order, but we did it. Hey, right, let me make another bed. We need to make another container soon. Right now we are running low. Yeah, let's make another container. Keep running low on these, so I'm gonna make a bunch.
We used it at one point, so. 20 and 70. Nice. Uh, where is the new guy? Skyrim? Yes. Skyrim, I want to. Uh, Fallout, I want to. Resident Evil 2. Uh, Resident Evil 3. Potentially even 4, 5, and 6. Probably not 7. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of series and things like that I want to play. Um... Skyrim is definitely not seven. The only reason is because seven's a little too intense for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I tried playing it a while ago. I just don't like the, the first person. <laughs> I think the first person goes, stuff is going to be a little much. Under the floor. Filthy rodents. Rats, you mean? You think those furry yep, buggers can eat through a concrete wall? I appreciate that. And uh, I don't know when they're the going to be, to be honest. I can't hear him anymore. But Is he gone? He's never truly gone. But sometimes he goes... But they're on the to-do list. And then it's like, what? On top of keeping up with it's new like games. They're all blown <laughs> away. I can think clearly for a moment. And I remember things. What do you remember? A hospital. People in white gowns, a madman strapped to a gurney, screaming in terror. And myself, I'm strapped down too. Why are you doing this? I don't belong here. Let me out. Calm down. Everything's going to be fine. It's all in the past now. You can't keep me here against my wishes. Tarakan, please, you're safe now. What? Where am I? Mikhail's warehouse. You're safe. Nobody is safe from the Rat King, Little Mouse. Not ever. Don't you ever forget that. Ah, uh, yes. Our old friend, the Rat King. I guess everything's back to normal then. Still need to go back to Yakuza. There's Yakuza 5. Um, Let me take a look at your gear. Of course. Oh so many things still actually let me go over here if you want to do skyrim then witcher is a must i actually i that witcher i did do one uh last year as well uh that was a very long one but all of my uh all my playthroughs and everything like the let's plays they all go on to uh to youtube so i believe all of those are on there as well Right now, um, I did not finish my uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 PC playthrough, but right now that one is going up. Um, I played Bless on or Bless Unleashed for one day, um, so that one is also going up right now. I also played or plan on playing more Final What's Fantasy 14. Again, let me take a look at, at some your gear. point. Of course, Mousy. Uh, I've been wanting to play. Kind of. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yo, uh, what's the? What's the matter? Hey there. But of course, I can give. Second. Here we go. Absolutely Fantastic. do this one. I'm um This is a big day for same? you. For today until you Final to Fantasy that. 15. Thanks to your PDA thingy upgrade, you can now detect those pesky NAR soldiers, shadows, and living creatures in general. Final I Fantasy uh, regular battery with a more 15 was my first be able to run a Final Fantasy game but throw it away and, and I absolutely loved it. Whether you're out on a hunt or simply trying to avoid now let's do it. I hope you are close. But 14 is an MMO um, and I love MMO games so that's pretty cool.
Um, that's another thing too, is I want to go back to MMOs, like even older ones, story-based ones too. Uh, and play some of them. Uh, I'm a huge Star Wars The Old Republic fan. The the MMO game too. Um, I, I actually love that one. I've played it so many times hey in my life I and on stream. It's actually one of my more uh, more frequent streamed games. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Fantastic. One. I'm ready to learn. Dark Souls 3 takes my second place, just don't play Dark Souls 2. Okay, Mousy. I'm gonna do the network main. Yeah, the I would do Dark Souls Remaster if I ever do, monster. but I don't know. It's use. Let's go hunt use the Um Another Another um game that I do wanna replay at some point. Oh, Neverwinter. Uh the, the I will let you know when we're done. Okay, cool. Neverwinter, the, uh, what the heck? What is this? Is this alive? Use the thingy to get us something for dinner, mouse. Better have me as your co-op partner for Dark Souls Remastered. Only if you actually play that. I I would be down for that. I would be. Assassin's Creed, dude. I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan too. Um, I did play Valhalla, and every uh, and all of that. Um. So yeah, you I actually have a proud, uh, Under my guidance, Assassin's Creed the tattoo. Ultimate rat What's the matter? Watch the hey matter, Marshy. Well, of course I can. Um, I do this one Fantastic. too. And then after we do this, then we'll go back to running missions again. Uh, I you know want to go back to Neverwinter. Is? For the new updates that they had. Uh, there's also Secret World. One day I do want to play through the story of Secret World, which is an older MMO. Um, but cool. Undertale, uh, I know of it. Never played it or anything. I'm pretty sure I have it. I. Uh, I play some racing games and things like that, so I'm looking forward to You're Forza Horizon 5. You're a very good student, Mousy. Congratulations. I think you learned something today, Mousy. Um, Hopefully it will be enough to keep you there's alive. There's so many. Literally, I could just keep going, like, listing games over and over of games that I, I do want to play and, and uh, re or revisit. Right now, my focus is to play more popular games uh, that are community focused. Games that I actually do want to play, but then also there's like, I'm not the only one streaming it in a way. Um, this game's still a recent release. So I know uh, for other people that have been playing it or, or watching it on Twitch um, right now, I feel like it's pretty good. So that's one of the reasons why I originally started playing this. I, I was, I've always been interested in it, but since it's like recently 1.0 and a lot more people have, have been playing it, uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to jump on this and not wait three months. Then Hades. I don't know if I, I mean, Hades seems cool. But I don't know hey, if it's my timer, type of game. Word has it you want to pay a visit to the power plant. I know some people loved it. 
Yeah. I take it you have something to contribute? Come on. You're needed unless you're planning shooting your way in. <laughs> that would be entertaining. Don't get me wrong, but it would also be fucking suicide. I know where our favorite our board I'm not like a... in our uniforms. I don't know. Me before when I was doing a little job for I'm not a huge fan you of the those uniforms the first chance you get. Go to the building adjacent to radar control. Just like the combat Therefore, and stuff in that place game. For a hideout, if you ask me. You can't miss it. Nobody can. I do Just like top down traps. games and like action RPGs. Or voice or but oh, yeah. I don't know. Something Look, about that game just about doesn't like really call to me. Get that first. But there's there's like I said, <laughs> I just listed off a yeah, you can't complain about the taste of games. Yeah, there so so many. Dying Light 2, I'm very excited for. Yeah, Dying Light is a great game. Um yeah there's there's so many uh hold on for one second i am i'm thirsty so and I, I do have water next to me but i'm gonna go make a drink or something so i will be right back again but this time i'm actually going to put it on my brb screen so i will